today's video I'm going to talk about the latest plants available in Twinmotion 2022. My name is Katarina, I'm a garden designer and I see you next. Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In today's video, it's all dedicated to the latest plants, 3D model plants available inside Twinmotion. So if you are a Twinmotion user, you know that the plants available in their default library, it's really limited, okay? It's pretty good in my opinion when it comes to, to, to trees, for example, and you have the growth setting that's amazing because you actually see the changes throughout the years and seasons on the trees, uh, not shrubs or any other type of plants, just the trees, okay? But what you've got now uh, is the Quixel Megascan library. And what they have here is 3D plant models, really high quality plants, not with the growth setting okay so you don't have the growth setting in terms of actually seeing the growth of the vegetation it, they do grow in size so when you're playing around with the growth setting in twin motion um, if you don't know what the growth setting is inside the twin motion um, uh, settings you have in the weather you have here the growth and there uh, if you can see what I'm showing you here. So I have some trees here. So you're gonna you're gonna be able to see the actual growth of that tree, and it's really uh, specific to the to that species. So it's not just you know being bigger in size. They actually grow, grow more branches, etc. If you're really looking uh, close. Uh, but what you can see is in any other plants, they just grow in size. Okay, they don't grow like the normal growth of an actual plant. Okay, they just go smaller or bigger. But that's fine, you know, that's fine when you're playing around uh, with the sizes. What you have here now in the Quixel Megascans is that they add more 3D model plants, okay? And so I love it. They're really high quality. Check this out. I will add um, the renderings in the end of the video, okay? Just I will add the, the rendering uh, without any post production and with some post production in Photoshop, just really basic stuff like levels and some shadows and uh, highlights. Okay, so things like and sharpness a little bit, but you know, you're gonna see the, the just directly from Twin Motion and after just with a bit of post production because I think you really need it and with the path tracer on. Okay, um, I still haven't managed to do the path tracer and Sky Dome together. In, having a really great rendering uh, but that's uh, probably my problem the only thing in the library of quixel megascan um, is there uh, the way they categorize inside the uh, library so as you can see here in the 3d plants if you don't know the quixel megascan is basically uh, thumbnails of things that if you want to use them in your model you have to download them and add variations to the to them okay so basically every time you for example if you go to garden plant you have bushes flowerless and flowering okay so what I suggest is go see what you like and add a little heart to it okay because then it's easier you go here, you check out which ones you have a heart and uh, it shows you all the plants that you have a heart. I don't have any now, so, but I'll suggest to do that, okay? So if you just want some uh, a bush and uh, let's go to a flowering plant. So as you can see here, you need to download them. These ones, they are not downloaded, so I can't use them. So if you really want to use them in your model, you need to download it first. Okay, this is just a, a way of not being so heavy as a software. So I think it's a pretty good idea. So if you have here the boxwood, for example, I'm just going to show you the download. Um, let me check out some. Okay, let's go to this bay L'Oreal. So once they've been downloaded, what you need to do is add variations. So you just click and add the plus sign click on the plus sign for variations of that plant so as you can see you even have like just the leaves um this really is to create some scenarios if if that's what you're looking for to do okay so this is as you can see some really nice quality uh bay leaves okay uh bay laurel sorry so as you can see here if i go to the growth setting what it happens in the here it doesn't actually grow just in terms of size okay that's what it does uh, let me just go here quickly and change the location a bit 
okay so some lighting but quixel mega scanner is really interesting plants for me it's just really difficult sometimes to to know to to look for them really uh, so that's why i told you to to just press the click on the heart button in your library if if you really like that plant like the boxwood for example uh, this yuccas i really like so as you can see where every time you have uh, one uh, plant species you have really quite a lot of variations in this case of this spineless yucca you have 12. it's just difficult sometimes to see all this you know between bush and flowerless and flowering um it just you know it sometimes is a bit cumbersome to just you know looking for the plant you actually want and you can't use the latin name because it doesn't work in the search uh part oh i love these poppies check this out i love them they're so cool uh, and don't forget that in my editor is not actually the rendering uh, full resolution. So, you know, you can see here is not really a high resolution image, uh, but, you know, you can see they are really, really nice. Um, and you have uh, quite a few colors. But what I like to do, and these birds of paradise, sorry, I keep getting lost. Uh, these birds of paradise, like the one I have there uh, in the background, um, it's really, really cool, really nice look at this this is really nice quality uh, leaf and you have this kind of growth as well sometimes it takes a little bit just to, to download the um, to upload here the they're really really beautiful um but what i was gonna say is the easier way for me to to see what plants and maybe even see their name so i can search here quick is actually grow to go to their website the quixel megascan website so if you go to the quixel megascan website it's really easy to see the latest vegetation okay they have the here the vegetation they have all by this biome kind of um uh, categories so they actually try to 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 categorize the plants by the type of plants uh, but here now you have all the garden plants and they are by the latest assets uh, added so as you can see here you have birds of paradise so it's easier maybe to see here because they all in one place all the under garden plants um, and you can s quickly see here and maybe go in your twin motion and just um, download it there. Uh, I really, I'm really happy with the, with the quality. I think they are, it's great news for Twinmotion users. Don't forget that you still have the portal um, of the roadmap, the portal from Twinmotion roadmap was under consideration, in progress and released already. So it's really, really cool stuff that coming up um, uh, already in progress. Oh, they are really strong in trees, I think. They are really good in the trees uh i just wish they have more plants even more plants um but you know the quixel mega scan uh, library um they are really good uh, really good quality uh, sometimes they are feel like they are choosing plants a little bit too much gaming environment you know um, not so much looking as a um, landscape architect or a garden design but you know i think they are really useful they are good to start with and always you can always upload from uh from the 3d warehouse or any other website like max3 and stuff like that i just find that they are a bit heavy on your model uh, if you use them a lot uh, so be really careful with that uh, so i definitely prefer to have the quixel mega scan uh, library with all these plants available uh, to me um and of course um the twin motion library with the growth setting for especially for the trees of course uh, it's really really cool so let me know what you think uh, if you're a twin motion user did you explore already the quixel mega scan library or not um, i'll add uh, the links uh, um, the links now i'll add renderings of some images of this actual project I've done with some post-production work in Photoshop. Um, like I said, just, you know, levels, uh, highlights and shadows. Um, yeah, I wish that Twinmotion have um, an editor, uh, some kind of editor inside the program. I think that will be cool. That some with pre presets, for example, that you could save. I thought that was really cool thing to have. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Really fun exploring all these uh, plants. Uh, I wish there was a better way to search them um, inside the um, 
the library because if you're not a native English speaker uh, um, from a speaking English speaking country sorry um, I think the Latin names would be easier to search um, like for example Lumion has the even they they have the common name in the model but if you normally search for the Latin name they have it in their tags so you normally go there if you search the Latin name um, maybe they could do something like this here as well see you guys in the next one